You got proof of this? Called Dorso at Caltech. Kapinski down at Stanford. She got caught up in uh, recombinant DNA techniques, and she wasn't even working in the P4 lab. I mean, they stopped her this short of an epidemic. Oh, man. She claims she left Berkeley on her own, but uh, there's reason to believe that she was kicked out. But she's accomplished so much since then. Why would she even want to bother with genetics now? Pig-headedness. There's only one thing you can be certain about with that lady. She hasn't changed. You in there? Open up, will you? Open up, Liz. What's going on? Just save your breath. I'm leaving. Why? Oh, you medicine men all sleep in the same bed. Did you know your high and mighty chief surgeon is crusading for a moratorium on my work? And I also hear rumors about an official inquiry. Well, no, thank you. I've been railroaded before. I don't intend to let it happen again. If there's nothing to hide, Liz, there's no reason to run. Oh, are you on the committee, too? Of course you are. You and your friend McIntyre. Come on, Liz, be reasonable. Trapper may be coming down a bit hard on you, but you pushed it. And you took Farrell into your own hands. Now you got this virus of yours. If you want cooperation, how about a little in return? What I want my young friend, is to be left alone. I prefer to work without questions, asinine questions and interference. This lab is my home, my world. I gave up a marriage for this, a wonderful husband. I live, breathe, eat, sleep, and pray here. Not up in some hospital examining room. Trapper was simply asking for some simple answers. I'll answer to my peers, not some narrow-minded chest cutters. You doctors and surgeons are all alike. You treat illnesses with a few cuts and sutures, and then you nominate yourselves for sainthood. In research, we work years and years trying to prevent illness. I'm aware of that, Liz. And the last thing we need is criticism and interference from people who don't even understand our language. Liz. Liz, wait a minute. Go back to surgery, doctor. You don't belong here. Still haven't found a cure for her yet, huh, doc? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. So hard to clean up an air, or will I get zapped again? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. It's all yours. Nobody's home. Okay. It's a lock up when you're done, will you? Hey, hey, Doc. Yeah? Somebody barbecuing in here? I know, I thought I smelled something. Paper in here, I guess. Let's see. Wow. Well, the least they could have done is left the fan on. Mac, you find any more hot spots? Mac? Mac! Mac? Huh? All right, just relax, come on. Stay calm, stay calm. You'll be all right. Same type of seizures? Yeah, seizures, fever, unstable blood pressure. Same symptoms Liz had. The nameless little virus again, huh? Liz never got this sick. No, she's younger and stronger, doesn't have his history. How are his fluids? High and dry. Let's run in a few liters of lactated ringers. I don't want this spreading. I'm gonna go set up isolation. We'll find Liz. She ought to know about this. She took off. What? Packed up, moved out. Apparently she didn't like the neighborhood. Oh, wonderful. We'll name the epidemic after her. Any chance of finding a reasonable treatment? First, we've got to find Waleska. She's got all the information we need. Now, hold on. Hold on. The way things are, she's not going to open up the door to you. Yeah, you're probably right. Go ahead.
come in. Did I forget something? Your code of ethics. Oh, aren't we being pious? Has Trapper been working on you? Come off it, Liz. This is my home. I don't have to listen to your sermons. Fine. Then listen to this. A man is dying. What are you talking about? Mac Mulligan, the janitor you threw out of the lab, has come down with your special little disease. Same symptoms, same virus. My little disease? Well, sorry if the man is sick. But if he does have the same virus, I'm sure he has nothing to worry about. I was fully recovered in 24 hours. I'm sure he'll react the same way. No. Max in his mid-60s. He has a history of liver problems. He may have pancreatitis. What are you doing for him? Not enough. We don't know how to treat that virus. And you think I do? D did it ever occur to you that I may have gotten that virus in another lab? I've been in dozens of experimental labs over the past few months. Liz, the man is dying. The virus is spreading. We need a treatment, a cure. We're not going to find one without your help. Are you going to sit there and play dumb or... Here's your phone. Yeah, this is Gates. You got a call for me? All right, I'll be right there. Prepping Mac for surgery. You know, for a moment, I was beginning to feel very worried about Mr. Mulligan. Now I see the fine hand of Trapper John McIntyre. He does have a flair for the dramatic. Liz, I am not playing some game here. Very neat, very pat, and very obvious, and I'm not buying it, Junior. Why don't you just go back to the hospital and tell Trapper to dump his guilt trip on somebody else? Why don't you tell him? You can talk to him while he's operating on Mac. I don't believe he's operating on anyone. You know, Trapp was right. You are pig-headed. I'm sorry you failed to understand what my work involves. It takes risk and perseverance and, most of all, secrecy to achieve its aim, to save millions from disease. You have heard of the third world, haven't you? I know what I'm doing. Someday, perhaps, you'll put it into perspective. What about Mac? Gonzo, I'm talking about the human race. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Mac isn't a member of the human race. He's just a lousy janitor. Pete. Pulse is 110. Pressure is 92 over 54. The sooner you get out of there, the better. Pancreas is a mess. It'll take a little time to straighten this out. Mm. All this from a homemade virus. Yep, we're not through with it yet. No telling where it may travel next. Intestine, liver, spleen. They're playing Russian roulette with his internal organs. We have a visitor. Retraction? <laughs> 